Hello folks, my name is Al. My name is Alex. And we are actually going to delve deep into the game world. Now it's going to be a first for me, but not a first for Al. And we're going to have a look at, uh, is it Harvester it's called? Yeah, so this game is called Harvester. It's a uh, it's an old point click adventure game from the mid 90s. Um, I've never played it through myself. Uh, I'm vaguely familiar with it. I've hmm. seen some clips online. All I know is it's absolutely insane. It's very controversial, isn't it? Very dry. Yeah, I, th I believe it was. I don't know if it was banned, um, right. or it was just 18, 18 plus or adults only. Um, but no jump scares. I don't know. Um, not I, I, from what I've heard, it's mainly just really poorly CGI violence. So. Right, okay. Uh, that's, it's that's probably going to get banned <laughs> for getting yeah, true. taken down. Um, so, yeah, so you're not much of a gamer. No, not I at am. All. So, I will be in full control. Like I said, it's an old school point and click adventure game. So, the main interactions are pointing at stuff and clicking. Um, and it's games as well. Little mini games. I've no idea. I don't okay. think so. Uh, it's, it's mainly interactive with people, talking to people. Uh, I imagine there'll be some puzzles. Normally. They're really obscure with daft solutions. Um, oh, so I'm, I'm setting a rule at the start saying that if we get really stuck, and I mean like really, really stuck. Oh, I think we will. We'll probably have to Google some stuff. But we're not going to... No, wait, we can't cheat though. No, well... The... Mm, I'm just not going to I can't cheat on my first game like this, I can't cheat. Um, Maths I, test, I can. But no, we, we, we will try our best. Try best if okay. it gets so impossibly difficult that we're just completely stumped... We'll have a cheeky little bit. Well, just, just for the one bit, not for the rest. I'll okay, a little taste that. Okay, yeah. yeah. Right, um, so I will just press the magic button. So we've, um, we've watched the intro, which told us literally nothing. Bizarre. Uh, a cockroach, a cow, and a man on a, bar, a bed. Yeah, so, right. um, so if I press this magic button... Yep, yeah, there we go. So um, this, is, um, this is the start of the game. What's this type of game called? Like a click game? A point and click game. A point and click game. Yeah. Okay. Um, or adventure game. So, obviously, we've got some tips here. Um, left click on an object to grab it. Right click to put it in your inventory. That's quite handy. Straightforward. So far. A penny saved is hardly worth the effort. It's a bit pointy, yeah. See, these don't seem related to harvest the gameplay. This just seems like general life, life lessons. Tips. Yeah. I'm gonna leave this room, with not Use the left life. mouse button to move your character around the screen. Oh, if you're stuck on a puzzle, talk to other characters and they will give you clues. See, we might not have to Google things. We get clues, give us the answers, man. <laughs> uh, avoid cliches like the plague. This, this feels like the de developers talking to each other through the medium of harvest the gameplay tips. Ammunition is precious, so don't waste it. Oh, so we... So there's guns in here, then? It's, it's, there's either guns in here, or, again, it's another life lesson, and it's just telling you, if, if yeah, you do happen to... Um, I imagine most people watching this will also be from England, where we're from. Guns are banned, um, except specific like, I mean, in rifles well. or something. Yeah. Um, so ammunition is not something you'll find at Tesco. Um, well, you we'll never see. know. If you get stuck on a puzzle, try using items in crazy logical ways. That's not my plan with these types of games, is just keep combining stuff until it happens. I said, um, thinking outside the box, I like it. Save your okay. game often, especially before sign trying something crazy, illogical, or dangerous. So there's no checkpoints in here? No. No. These old games, they are not forgiving. Um, you can often die without warning. I've, I've played some games where it's, you'll do some, you'll tie your shoelace and get hit by a car. It's that level of... Well, and this game talking about the plague and ammunition, by yeah? Yep. Um, holding down the control button plus the arrow keys allows you to attack opponents. <laughs> Seems violent already, I've not even left my bedroom. Look before you leap. Okay, the help screen can be helpful. It's some of these tips I feel are stating the obvious. I think they're taking the mick in a way. Yeah. You can pick your friends, and you can pick your nose, but you can't pick your friend's nose. I think you'll find you can pick your friend's nose, and I've done that. but you need consent. Well, not necessarily, not if they're sleeping. Um, I think we'll leave the tips for now. I think they've probably been as helpful hmm. as they're going to be. Um, so where should we start first? Should we have a look around the room? I'm sort of like in a false sense of security with a lovely music and then it's yeah. talking about like guns and stuff. I'm like, oh god. Right, so the cursor changes as I move around. So I think... So that... we're in a boys room now. Oh, 
Right, I can move. I love his little war. He's got a very determined stroke. <laughs> um, He's determined to get something, but I don't know exactly what. Right. Oh, socking. The mattress is speckled with odd stains. Alright. Easy now. Calm down now, boy. An old fashioned clock with bells and hammer. An alarm clock. Can you click the plane? Photo of a beautiful girl, blonde, about 17 years old. The plane? A 148 scale P47 Thunderbolt with a broken propeller. He has a very good knowledge of planes. Yeah. Like, It'll click on the other. I think that's a Spitfire, isn't it? A hastily Not P51 Mustang in exact 136 scale. I love that you can look at a model plane and immediately know the scale. Yeah, that's a that is a a skill that more people should have. Um, a recently watered plastic plant. Would it, who's watering plastic plants? Um, and how can you tell it's watered from here? A pair of plastic binoculars with the lenses melted up to the table. Okay. Oh, what's that candle? That's got to have something, surely. Uh, it's not letting me click that. Brilliant. An or empty the um, acne the... medicine container. Acne, right. So he's definitely a teenager. He doesn't look at what he's wearing. A handful of faded hardbacks are lit at the lower shelf. He's dressed like a middle-aged dad yeah. at a golf game. <laughs> Unless he's checking out his boy's room, because his son's got... He's a, well, we can you see that little small version of him? Yeah, that's the cursor. Oh, right. He's not, I'm not I'm being... I'm glad you can see that as well. Good it's reason. not like Army of Darkness, where there's like millions of little clones of him oh my God. that are following him around. Right, what's that there? Yeah, click on the... Obviously some fat high school girl left it there. Probably. Yeah, it just seems... Nice. Seems needlessly aggressive. Yeah. But, <laughs> so we've woken up nice in one. this bed... Um, in a strange environment, in his and he's in he's fat shaming people we've never met yeah. because they own a clarinet. And he's now, telling us some model scales of aeroplanes. Like. Yeah, I, I've seen orchestras, never seen a fat girl with a clarinet. So they come in all shapes and sizes, yeah. you know, like the clarinets. Yeah, this this was in the mid nineties where people were more yeah, respectful to each other. Not like now where we we treat everyone perfectly well. We'll leave that there. Right? Can we open the chest of drawers? It's unlocked. Open it. Oh, oh, it's changed to a... Oh, Ooh, right. Here we go. Right, off we go. A 25 cent piece that is 1952. Can we have it? Oh, we can pick that up. Is that a pen? Two marks are visible on the end of the ballpoint pen. Standard. I don't want it. It's Everyone's chewing. done that. Oh. Right, can I pick up anything? What are these? Like little weird... They're like mini turnips. Are they voodoo dolls? I... They look like voodoo dolls, yeah. eh? Can't really pick them up, that look. Can I take the, t the towels? No. Sunglasses? Future isn't so bright. How do you know? Oh, I can't pick it's... up the sunglasses. The one item I actually wanted to pick up from there. So you just picked up the pen so far? Yeah. Right, so, so this has got to be a game then. No, no, like a one of those little mini games in a so game. So we might have to use them as a yes. puzzle later, so it's best to. That's why you need to explore. Can you do me a favour, Al? Anything in the bin? No. Can you click on what looks like a toy box? Toy box, where are you looking? Um, just by the clarinet. This thing here. Mm -hmm. Paper doll by the Mills Brothers sits on the turntable. Not a song I'm familiar with. No, no. no we'll have to. We'll have to have a look at <laughs> Definitely that. Definitely a blue song. Get it on spot. Oh, click the mirror. So you can see his own reflection. You peer through a thin layer of dust at your reflection. I think you just made him feel worse. He's made that fat girl feel worse. Seven flannel shirts accompanied with matching blue jeans are hanging neatly in the corner. This is like Spongebob where he's got like ten different versions of the same outfit. I think so. Same shoes as well. Right. It's a very clean room though. Yeah. Um, oh, Alex, bottom right, can you click that for me? I think that this, could be the toy box. Uh, no, it's, uh, so the icon changes. You see that's a little magnifying glass? So that means I can look at stuff. Ah, if it's just right. a... In walking, you can walk. Yeah, the well. Army of Darkness version of our main character. Um, that's freaky. Right, I think we've seen enough, so let's... Uh, Let's exit. Did you click under the rug? I didn't click under the rug. Um, right, so this is like a living room. Um, nice room. Bit of a crack in the ceiling so far. I've noticed that straight away. Yeah. I have to get them cowboy builders uh, presenters in. Get them in the messenger and look at that. This, that is a really high ceiling. And this is a massive living room. Like, if you, if you look at the, the size of the character compared to the entire, it's a very roomy room. 
And that that boy watching the TV is like something like Pol- uh, Poltergeist. Uh, like right, it, right. I think they have lips, aren't they? So we we can talk to him. Let's see what he's got to say. What? It's rude. Oh, okay. Speak back to him. What? Right, walk closer to him. I can't. It just seems to be cheeky. What? Oh, oh. Yeah, that was weird. Right. So this is an old game. So I should say right. that there'll probably be some technical issues that we might come across. Um, but we'll do our best. I'll probably save it very frequently, just in case we have any crashes. Okay. Um, so. So you can choose the response that you want to. Yeah. So say he to said him. what? So what do we reply to that? You can go first. This is your maiden playthrough of a game. Where am I? Well, he's in his own house, so that doesn't make sense, I reckon. Yeah. Who am I? Oh, okay, I kind of like that one. Um, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Leave me alone, Steve, or I'll tell Mom on you. Is Steve the older brother? Or... No, 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 I'm not done with this kid yet. Right. Mom. 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 Mom's in the kitchen, and if you bug me, I'll call her. Look, I just... Do you know me? Wish I didn't, because then you wouldn't be my brother, and I'd have your room, and all the presents at Christmas. Though I will soon enough anyway, because you're a lousy rat. You're my brother? No, duh. Listen, I don't mean to, uh, bug you, but I can't seem to remember anything. Will you please just tell me who you are? Mom, Steve is bugging me. Steve, leave Hank alone right now. Right, so we're playing as Michael McIntyre, apparently. He does that. Um, but, so our name's Steve, this is Hank. Okay. Hank's oh, a he's, oh, he's a rude round. <laughs> he's a little shit. And then the mum is just hanging out in the kitchen. Um, so, Steve or Lousy Rat? Lousy Rat. Why am I a rat? What did I do to you? You went and got all mushy on that girl. And now you're lighting out on me. Well, if that's the way you're going to be... And you can drop dead. This, what is this kid's problem? I think I know the girl must be the um, 17 year old girl in the picture. Oh? I don't know what girl you're talking about. Yes, you do. All summer, <laughs> it's been Stephanie this and Stephanie that. And now you don't remember? You think I'm dumb or something? No, I just can't remember anything, like I said. Well, you better remember quick, because the wedding's in two weeks. What? Leave me alone so I can watch TV! So, he can't remember that he's apparently engaged um, to a 17 year old girl. Oh, was the fat but, girl with a clarinet? Possibly. Oh. And he's either engaged to a 17 year old girl or the picture on his bedside table is not her, which is creepier. Um, oh TV or Stephanie? Well, the TV, we know he's like. Watching some western sort of thing. Yeah, you can hear guns and cowboys. Stephanie. Stephanie. Yeah. I said I don't want to talk about her anymore. Okay. Stephanie again. I said I don't want to talk about her anymore. (laughs) You're just going to try and wear him down like some cop interrogation. Okay, fine. I'll talk about Stephanie. That's a weird looking television. Come to think of it, this whole place looks totally retro. It's a massive television. All TVs look alike. Sure, basically. But this is one old fashioned clunker. Old fashioned? It's brand new. Yeah, but look at the tube. Where's the remote control? What's that? I. Now that I think about it, I can't remember. And what was that you said about retro rockets? No, retro. It means. It means. Oh man, I know what I mean. That everything here is wrong. But I can't picture the difference. Then shut up and quit bugging me. I'm watching my cowboy show. I think I got a brief idea of what might be going on. Okay. You, what, what's your theory? Right. It goes back to the intro. Yeah. He's a farmer. Got involved with, an ac- with a bad accident. Okay. In the 90s. Woke up in the 50s. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll see. The fact that that little knobhead said that all the TVs <laughs> are the same. Yeah, he's obviously set in... And he's very rude. It must be around the 50s. Um, mm. Just because of... Although, they must be quite well off because that telly is huge. Yeah, that's a, but did they have fire extinguishers in the 50s? I'm pretty sure they did. Like that, though. Look at that model. 
I don't know, maybe, maybe you can tell us if it's a 134 scale of a specific fire extinguisher. Uh, yes, you clever boy, come on. Right, let's let's, quiet we'll number. finish the conversation first. Have you yes. noticed that your show is in black and white? What else? Color? On a TV? Well, I... I think I've seen a color television before. This is like Back to the Future. Have not. What did I want to tell? Hey, look at that. Your mother lets you watch this stuff? Sure. This is part of history. Finished. What made America great. And besides, blood and guts are neato. Um, little kids shouldn't watch violence, so you're right, that is really you. See, this possible. kid shouldn't watch violence because he's a knobhead. Yeah! So, I, I wish he'd... Oh, yeah. no, I, I, well, I just... you can't stop me, so oh. let me alone. Or else. Right. Come on, show. Have you noticed that your oh, show... What? Well, what? Why does it let you repeat hey, look at things? Sure, really? what made... Right. Well, you're right, right? I'm glad you're catching on, Steve. You're not too bad for a lousy rat. Right, bye. Good. Finally. Can you imagine if you were having a conversation and you said bye and they turned around and were that rude? No need. But uh, that's why I think it's in the 50s because I wasn't born in the 50s and I didn't live through the 50s. But apparently one of the insults was a lousy rat. And every kid in the 50s had model, uh, model aeroplanes. I don't know any kids in the 50s, so... Google it. Re research it, whoever's watching. It's an old-fashioned console television. Cool. Right. A pendulum-driven cuckoo clock with a cuckoo oddly absent. How can you see that from there? Cuckoo! 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 Cuckoo's not because I can hear it. Exactly. Um, Is that kid? Right, now I do remember it said save often, so I think just to... How do we save? Okay, so we'll save. What That's a haunted that? save oh my screen. goodness! Right, okay, so game one will be... Um, just... Main. It's no bad kid. No bad kid. I think that's probably what we should do, is name the saves kind of where we're up to. Yeah. So we know it won't. Obviously, when we come back to it another time, we we jogs your memory a little bit, right? Yeah, rude rat. So can we have a look at the fire extinguisher? No, we cannot. What about the globe? The globe. All oh, right. Yeah. You see that? A stunning depiction of the Earth made of paper mache. Mm -hmm. That's a paper mache globe. In the fifties. Surely you don't like a serap No, it was the fifties. So uh, the rug. Oh no, oh. kitchen. Right. Oh, well. So here's Mum. What's she doing there? There's a baby in the kitchen. Okay, that's the safest place to keep a baby in the uh, house where the most electricals are. Unless the mother couldn't trust the no bed kid, so she said, I am not trusting you with my baby, they come in the kitchen with me. Also a valid reason. Yeah. Um, let's talk to mum. I'm, de I'm definitely getting the 50s vibe from her. Well, again. hello there. How about some cookies? There's plenty of rejects in the trash. Who are you? So you tell me to fine eat cookies to out of the trash. Your mother. I, you're my mother? That's right. Though sometimes I get treated like the hired help around here. I don't remember you. Of course you don't. Until you need your socks washed. No, you don't understand. I can't remember where I am or even who I am. Land's sake, stop your joshing, won't you? Honestly, Steve, I thought you'd grow up a little after graduation. I only hope that new job will plant your feet on the ground. So that's my name. Steve. Your name will be M.U.D. Mud if you don't stop teasing me, young man. Listen, this may sound strange, but I've lost my memory. Do you believe me? Well, you always were a kidder, Steve. I'm serious! Sure, and next you'll be telling me you don't remember Hank and your little sister. We've got a sister as well, apparently. What? How can is he can only... pick all of these? As, why has he only just come to the conclusion that his name is Steve? When yeah. the kid was calling him Steve before, whilst he was insulting him. Um, what should we ask first? I don't want trash cookies. Everything strikes me as being set up. Like, he's innocent, and they're all evil. Even the baby's evil. Even those cookies are evil. Look at the way they lay balancing on the edge of the room. I mean, yeah, I don't like how there's, there's absolutely no organisation to these cookies. I tell you what, can you click on the tap? Uh, we'll we'll finish this conversation. Oh and yeah, then we'll I always start forget. Yeah, yes, yes. 
A sister. It's got to be sister. Sister. sister? Where the hell is she? Shh, you'll wake her. I just put oh, her down I'll to sleep. I'll the baby. If she wakes up, she'll just want to eat again. Dessert. Darn it, I'm busy. And if you think I'm going to play along with this nonsense, you're crazier than Sparky down at the firehouse. Oh, Sparky, Fine. no. Maybe I am asses. crazy. I can't rule yeah. that out. Why can't you just help me a little? Is that too much to ask? Now you've done it. Are you happy? Poor baby. Oh, Steve. There, there. Did your brother scare you? Let me. You're not even comforting the baby. <laughs> Darn that wasp woman! She's a monster. That's what she is. So, this is your idea. <laughs> <laughs> so, the baby sister ate the spider. Was the was she swatting the wasp on the head, or was she slapping the baby? Because I don't. Well, I it sounded she like she was trying to swat the wasp. But surely there's a better way than slapping your infant child. I in think the she face. wanted to slap the baby to stop it from crying and blame her on the wasp. Well, let's ask about wasp. Wasp woman. Tetsu Akram is going to hear about this. I want you to go to her house right now and give her a piece of my mind. I don't know where she lives. Honestly, you can't miss a house covered with paper nests. Steve, you tell her to mind her own beeswax or by golly, I'll take it up at the PTA. Or the lodge. PTA. I... So, so PTA is the parent teacher association. What's the okay. PTA got to do with anything? Show some respect, Steve. The PTA has a lot of cloud in harvest. We run the charity bake sale, the annual blood drive, and by gosh, we even have ties to the lodge. It's the lodge. Yeah, I'm sure What lodge? The Hall of the Order of the Harvest Moon, Steve. Ah, it's cult. just the finest place in it's Harvest. It's a cult, isn't it? Yeah. And the most exclusive. What's so great about it? Hard to say, since hardly anyone gets inside. But it wouldn't be so exclusive if it wasn't just wonderful. Just like the new Reynolds dishwasher with their patented auto dry process TM. I've never <laughs> used one, but TM. I know I want it. <laughs> Instead of sulking around the house all day, why not walk over to the lodge and apply for membership? Right, I think that's the first. The last thing I want is a fez on my head. Number one. Number yeah. one. That's wonderful, Steve. If you got into the lodge, you'd be the talk of harvest. Harvest. Harvest, Harvest yeah. is a town unlike any you've ever known. Definitely. In what way? I don't have time to go into it now. Why not take a walk around town and pester someone else? I'm busy. Mom is very rude, isn't she? Like a brat kid. Yeah, right. I thought she did just slap the baby. The papers out for Jimmy. Very true. You know how he gets. Who's Jimmy now? Oh, what happened there? Like a punch. Why are you punching? Why is that the first option of action? Right, put right click is punch. So I just I'm gonna save it just in case. I don't I Slapping baby. Uh yes we can. Can we punch the kid? Not the baby. Right, let's try punching mum. Right. I can't punch mum with the knees. Right. I never thought I'd you say that. Come on. Can I punch? Turn around, ma'am. Oh, she's not letting me. Ah, uh, okay. okay. I'm gonna walk away. Can you walk to the baby? Uh, can I punch the baby? <sighs> can she please feed that after baby? After the slap. What's that plaque on the wall say? An expertly embroidered old fashioned. Just tell us what it says on the plaque. Can you open the cupboard next to the plaque? A cabinet that smells of dirty diapers. You could tell it must be strong because you can smell it from there. Yeah, that's true. It looks like it says that's eat true. them all. It's really low resolution. Oh, so cool. harvest. Yeah, true. Um, can you just click on the bottom right? It's the tin opener. The tin opener. Bottom yeah. right. Oh god, I didn't even see that. Hey, eagle eyes, man. Eagle yeah, eyes. it just seems to be let me click on it. Right. Knives. <gasps> Their knives are really high up. Nope. Not even he can reach them. Knives gleam wickedly in the kitchen's antiseptic glow. Wickedly. Antiseptic glow. It feels like you've got a like thesaurus.com and it's just spewed out all yeah, over the diet. Like a random generator. Yeah. Right. Not in the fridge, I've had nothing. Cookies are baking in the oven. She's Almost already got cookies and no one's eating them. Fresh Fresh cookies is like a metaphor for a body or something. Freshly baked cookies are in the trash can. 
You don't cook them and put them in the bin. Are they like... Right, here's my theory so far. Okay, go on. Are they like a kind of... Obviously there's a cult involved. Mm -hmm. okay, I'm just going to knock that music down. I'll change that. Oh, that turns oh. it on. I, I'm not gonna lie, I jumped a little bit then. Um, yeah. She's baking cookies and putting them straight in a bin. Is she on like a, a kind of loop? A loop. But if uh, she is, why would she go and slap the baby? Maybe that's part of the loop. Cook. Like a little to do list. Bake cookies, slap baby. Bake cookies, slap baby. Right. It's important but, uh, to be organised. But if she was on a loop, would she talk to Steve? Or would she be ignoring him? I don't know if it's like an AI or anything, like a robot. I don't know actually. Mm. I wanted what? to punch her and find out. But... Why would they go that far to put diapers in the cupboard? Right. Can we punch mm. the Right, can I walk Pun over? Please punch the kid! See, for some reason I can only walk to places where it comes up with that little logo of the walking man, so... Let's see. Uh... Leave me alone, oh. will ya? This is the good part. Is this a snuff game? Good. Well, Finally. I feel about to find out. Finally. Right. So. Is there only. Oh, it's a master bedroom. It's firmly locked, okay? <laughs> is there a way to open it? It's coffee. Right. So, that's not the wasp lady, is it? Not sure. Is it the wasp lady? Did it say something about the wasp lady? Oh. Right, I pressed I back to the Furniture warehouse. Oh, this is just the inventories. Alright, so this is my... Uh, we've got the pen and we've got the, the quarter. Um, Alex, go back on that screen. That little list thing. Spring 1953. Well spotted. Well, well. Cool. Um, so, um, the mum said we should go and get a membership for the order. Every time I see that book. Yes, yeah, terrifying. Is that Steve? Is that... Is that the um, kid? Is that the wasp lady? Membership application. Hmm. Right, so let's go out into the big wide world. Oh, Ooh. right. Oh, with the newspaper boy, and they look like that in the fifties as well. What? Perfectly stuck. Oh no, he's moving. Um, so what have we got around here? So sort of security bars on the outside of the house. But only on one window. Oh. oh, did you notice that's the room the coffin came from? A dad, maybe? Power lines. Oh, High voltage power lines bathe your home in a wholesome old fashioned electromagnetic field. You feel they're humming in your dreams. Is that the frisbee? A, dis a day glow lemur space disc stuck LSD. on the roof. LSD. This could be like a drug well thing. Well spotted. This could be a drug thing. This, see, this is why I suggested this, because I knew that you'd have a unique logic. Thank you. Could... Thank you. Can you click the clouds? The cloud? Maybe too new, unique, your logic, I think. But power lines. Right. What about there. the power supply? An air conditioner. <laughs> An army surplus air conditioner. An arm, small army town, maybe? Radioactive. Oh, oh my goodness. Um, I just got chills then. What if this is. The air conditioner. No, oh yeah. What if this, Al, is the um, the testing site for a nuclear bomb? Very, yeah, potentially. That's probably why everyone's acting so bloody weird. Right. Getting the mailbox is full of junk mail bills and bake sale flyers. We should probably show Mum that there's a bake sale and that the cookies she's baking she can sell rather <laughs> yeah, than just throw in the straight bin. in the bin. Right, let's talk to Jimmy James. Jimmy James. Jimmy James doesn't want to talk. Hey, Steve, oh. I'm Jimmy James. Remember me? Oh, uh, I don't remember me. I guess not. I'm not going to hey, remember you. Hey, how come you haven't been putting the paper out for me in the morning? Uh, I'd say I don't remember that because he, he seems like a nice block. Don't, don't say yeah? yeah? Well, try to remember, will you? How'd you expect a working Joe to make an honest living? Well, the kids are not best. You don't put the paper <laughs> out, I'm out of a job. So what? You don't get paid for picking up papers anyway. The Sentinel building burnt down. What the heck else am I supposed to do? Listen, start putting that paper out and everything will be Jake, okay? Jake? That's Jake? all I so want. That and a pair of sneakers. Walking this route every day has worn holes in mine. Say, you got any spare sneakers? Sneakers? 
ones that will fit you. You're like five years old. See, see, yeah. And give him, you know, bed kids. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> great. The shoes Maybe off. we could try. <laughs> what could you give me? You know, Miss Whaley and Principal Harold down at the school. Well, I found out they're messing around with each other in the broom closet. I can tell you when they meet and trade you some keys that'll let you catch them red-handed. What do you say? Deal. Yeah. Why? Before I give with the keys, let me see those sneakers. All right. Damn First it. the keys, right then here. the sneakers. Nuh-uh. Ah. If you're trying to pull a fast one on me, forget oh, it. Kid, you don't get yeah. the keys till I see the sneakers. So fast. And that's that. See you later, alligator. Right. So, we couldn't punch Mum. No. Can we punch a child? Because Mum did. Please. So, Please. again, I think I will try and punch everyone I meet, but I will always save it. Punching JJ. Aww. Oh, he started off as a nice block, but... Oh, he... Oh, oh he's... Whoa, run! He's got a gun. He's... Is he shooting me? <laughs> What's he trying to do? It's a rad, kid. Oh. Why can't I? I can hear footsteps. Can I talk to him? Can I pop? Why has he come up with it? Can I pop? What? Why are you punching it? Why has he got a gun? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was asking for that, really, wasn't I? So, <laughs> that's... <laughs> death number one. Shot to death by a child. Because we punched him, so technically self-defense, I get that. Not only did I punch him, he froze. And I continued punching him, so... You could have run back in the house. Why has a kid got a gun? Well, I'm glad to say... you punching the so, There's so many questions in this now. So, things we need to do. Get a membership for the lodge. And we sneakers. need... Sneakers. Yeah, we need to get some sneakers to swap in for keys to apparently see a couple of teachers making out or getting off in the uh, room cupboard. What use that is to us, I don't know. So, we'll load the game. This is why saving's important. Right. What is going on? Well, we're apparently in the 50s, we don't remember who we are. Everyone's a bit of a knob. Right, get on the good side of JJ now. Right, we've spoken to him already, so... Mm -hmm. See you later, alligator. Okay, haven't you got like, other people to bother? Why about... Right, let's go for a walk into town. Oh. Oh, so... In a... In a lot of like adventure games, there's yeah. no like a kind of map screen where you can go to different locations. So, okay. So we've got the house, we've got the general store, we've got the post office, we've got the barber shop, we've got the missile base. Can you like scroll down? Which could link to what you were saying about it being like a yeah. testing ground. Uh, the oh, oh, the lodge. There's the lodge. Um, and it looks like a, a temple. Yes. So it's definitely a cult. Um, yeah. The Johnson residence, the no. abandoned house, the cemetery, the Shady Oaks. Can we go down? Oh. The, the Wayward Hotel. What was... No, it's the Overlook. I was thinking The Shining. The cemetery again. I'm getting the fire shining station. Shining from it, though. The police station. The newspaper building. Edna's Diner, was that? The TV station. The Gein... Rem Gein, Ed Gein. Of course. Ed Gein. Famous serial killer, Ed Gein. They've named a school after him. Mm -hmm. The meat oh. plant. The missile base again. Now, what uh, was the name of the house of the um, wasp lady? Did we get a name? I don't think we got a name. Is there a school? Because of, like... Yeah, the Ed Gein school. Oh, God, yeah. How did I forget that? Um, so, first things first, I think we should go to the lodge and try and get a membership. Yeah. She did say that yeah. first to the man, didn't she? Oh, uh, oh well, wow. So, this is a very is welcoming... The... Right. See, I'm getting medieval vibes from this now. Yeah. Uh. Examine the pipe. Alarming green sludge oozes from the drain. I think you might be right with the uh, nuclear testing facility. Mm -hmm. uh, examine the hole. Red eyes gleam with eerie malevolence from the darkness. What are they? Can we go over there and have a look? Right. We don't. No. Nope. Right. It doesn't seem to be. Ooh, a tapestry. It's as ancient as the building itself. The wall. Uh, you were right with the cult. Because the logo is actually like a H. What did it say? Harvest, harvest order? The, the harvest moon? Oh, is harvest it harvest moon? Is it harvest moon? Harvest, harvest, harvest moon, moon like an old farming game, isn't it? Um, but. Um, hang on. Alex, um, in the little crevice, 
But you see the eyes blinking? Yeah, yeah, that's, he said that. What did he the red eyes glee with eerie malevolence. We won't say what they are, just some eyes. Oh, I thought he, the monk walked the bloody red yeah. eyes. Um, let's talk to the sergeant at all. The initiates may enter the hall of the Order of the Harvest Moon. Did you say something? I did not speak, but my mind touched yours. She was on the back. Right? Telepathy? But how? Only those who seek enlightenment warrant my attention. Do you hunger for true knowledge? Uh, this guy has an amazing voice. He really does. Uh, and also, I love that even though he's speaking telepathically, he's still making facial expressions. Maybe it's that hard. Maybe telekinesis is that hard. Yeah. Do you know what? What kind of knowledge? Ask him first, I said. Forbidden knowledge, oh, the best. forgotten pleasures, and pleasures as yet undiscovered. But such is not for the likes of you. Not yet. You must first fill out an application to be considered <laughs> for initiation into the mysteries. Is always paperwork. Don't know. Date of birth. <laughs> don't know. <laughs> Occupation. Don't know. Question mark, question mark, Yeah, question mark. It, it wouldn't be a very good application. What face has Monkey Boy got now? Look at him. It's the face you make. Do you know when someone you don't like says something and then they turn the back? He's kind of oh, going, yeah. yeah. Smarmy boy. Um, so, should we ask for an applicant? Paperwork, why should I fill out a stupid form or give me an application? I wouldn't want to say stupid in front of him because we're on his turf. The thing I'm is, saying... he can read my mind, so he already knows what I'm saying. No. Give me a form. Applications are available at the Office. This is the best call. Mr. Boyle disseminates them to the uninitiated. I do not sully my hands. Oh, so you're a middle manager. Can I just manager. fill it out and return it to you, or what? You may find it difficult to obtain an application. You will it telepathically. need to find some way to persuade both Master Boyle to give you one in the middle of the month, as it is against his rules. When you do, however, bring it to me. And if you are worthy, you will be put to the test. Hmm. Um, I like the music. Oh, the music's can I, great. Can we, that's very intense now. Yeah. Um, so, in order to get into the cult, um, we need to go to the post office <laughs> and fill out a form. So, let's go to the post office. Just like in everyday life. Yeah. I think simple. You see, normally, I think that's why, because normally, like, with cult initiations, isn't it a bit more like a ritual? Mm. Whereas, I love the idea that you just go to the post office and yeah. fill out a form. But, oh, hang on, before we click anything, let's just have a little, let's soak it all in a minute. Yeah, so we're in. at the post office. There's, there's a smash in the window. Oh, yeah, well spotted. That could be JJ's gun, maybe. Looks like Mr. Pastorelli forgot to put out the paper for Jim. Yes! Oh. So... Okay. How does he know that's Mr. Pastorelli's house if he can't remember his own name? This one steps come in. Someone's gonna pop up on the screen. It's JJ. Just part of the music's oh. right there. Um, although, oh, there's a cup on the floor. A crushed paper cup with a smudged lipstick on. So there's a woman in here. I can't pick it up. Um, What's that next to the fight? Forty-one percent off packing peanuts. There's only one sorted colour in it. Peanut. They're brown. No, packing peanuts, you know, like when you get a package, like little Paul Starry, oh, right. go packing peanuts. Um, what do we call them in England? Just like, do they have a name? Like, um, prawn crackers. No, not like prawn crackers, like, when you open a package, and it's like, got loads of hundreds of like, Paul Starry, kind of... Hey, so we eat them, well, I only eat them, I chew them as a kid. Yeah, they do taste yeah. like prawn yeah. crackers, but they're not prawn crackers. Um, um, can you click on the letter, the post box letter thingy, with four legged things? No, it's not Let me do anything. Right, we'll go to the post office anyway. It's right. a lipstick. There's a blind woman. How do you know she's blind? Oh, she's got sunglasses on indoors. Could so. be cool. Could be cool. Should be cool, I'm blind. That's true. And we've also got Postmaster Boyle, who apparently is responsible for handing out the application forms for the cult. I'm not giving JJ his paper. No, no, that was oh, Mr. No, no. Ah, yes. Mr. From Mr. Glass Mr. Mr. Yeah, Mr. Pastrami. Right, what are, you can't zoom in on these games, can you? No. Posters. Um, but, so. There's three different clocks, three different time zones, maybe. Dimensions. Th third dimension. True, but normally time zones are an hour apart, but as you can clearly see, they're um, they're not even on the same minute. So yes. it's uh, 
just a little bit of weirdness. So we've got a flyer for a bake sale. So obviously, mum still not aware this bake sale's going on. Just bidding cookies. Cool, um, man. But is there anything else we can do? Um, oh, lodge donations. Oh, well, applications, not donations. Um, boxes. Mailboxes seem hardly used. Okay. Try to get map. A zip code map with harvest dead center. Click on her. Right, so speak to her for a blind woman told you is trying to read her mail. How can we speak to her? Because that seems needlessly cruel, but we're just Yeah, is it Braille? I don't like this. Is it Braille mail? That's fantastic. Is it Braille mail that she got through the snail mail? (sighs) Try saying that five times fast. If she goes to the bake sale with a If she goes to the bake sale with Mm -hmm. the Braille mail that she got from the snail mail Will the cookies be stale? And I can't think of any more, so I think we'll leave that gag there. Right. The track what? might get derailed. Thanks, Al. Yeah. Thank you, you see, this is why. I, this is why I said, "Do you want to be part of this?" this thank is... you. Okay, let's talk to Postmaster yes. Boyle. Yes. I need some help, Mister Postmaster Boyle. What can I do for you today? This guy you takes saw. his title very seriously. <laughs> uh, Postmaster, to you, sir. Uh, I'd like a lodge application, please. Mm, sorry, youngster, we're out of applications right now. Take the post Come on, game you over. must have one around here somewhere. Brilliant. Well, I do have the master, but you can't write on that. And I only make copies once a month on the button, regular as clockwork. Which clock, though? Hang on, well... <laughs> um, first one, uh, be, be nice to him, because he's, he's... Afraid not, son. You can't get them anywhere but the post office. I'm sorry, you'll just have to come back in a month, same a as month. anyone else. And even then, I can't you guarantee there? you'll get an application. The line is always long, and there are never enough to go around. It's very important that I get in quickly. That's what they all say. Is it? Postmaster Boyle, I'll just die if I don't get into the lodge. I can't make an exception, young man. It just wouldn't be right. Right. So, what, what if I type, please? Don't mumble, son. Oh. Can't understand you. Okay. Next Good. time you post, don't forget the zip code. Oh. Bit strange character, there. Yeah. Do you know what's really awkward now? What? He hasn't left. <laughs> just so he, stood there he's, staring. He's, he's there going, oh, this is awkward. Can't he just go, please? Sorry, son. No time to talk. Neither rain nor sleep nor snow nor hell shall keep the mail from its appointed rounds. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realise you were so Next busy. Next time you post, don't forget the zip. Yeah, yeah, we know. Type right. in no bed. I'm not going to call Postmaster or not. We need to get the application. Yeah, that's true. Right. Do we go back to the lodge and say, well, we tried? No. Um. We've got the general store, we've got the barber shop, we've got the missile base. Hmm. We've also got some down here. The, the school, the plant. So we'll, I don't know if we can go to the school yet because we need to get the shoes to swap. A, yeah, a key. Um, the TV station. I don't think we go in it yet, but I think it's got something to do with the cowboy TV show that was on because of the violence and things. Maybe. Maybe we can like transmit something on the sound waves yeah. to like Hank, you're a knobhead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna punch right. you. Edna's um, diner. Uh, police, police station. station fire police station. station newspaper, newspaper building. A uh, newspaper building. Yeah. I think that's if we go in there. That's the way we can get our Mr. Sapatelli's paper. And he might have sneakers to give to us. I like your thinking. What's the issue intention? is, you're applying a very straightforward logic. Unfortunately, these games do not run off a very straightforward logic. And from the intro. Yeah. Have you just seen a, a kid shoot a bro? Let's, let's go back to the lodge and just say, Sorry, pal. can you put a word in? Hello, yeah. Well, not a word, but like a telepathic. Can you put it? Oh, yes. Yeah. Have you obtained an application from the postmaster? We tried. Not yet. If you would find knowledge, you must seek it from the first realization of the wanting. Whether you do or not matters little to me. Many are called, but few chosen. Right. You've annoyed him. I was only asking. Um, I'm just watching him. Right. I'll tell you what. General stock of a buy. Yeah. I've got 25 cents. Oh. Phelps. The handyman. 
Some debris. Oh, they've been broken into. Oh, air condition on the side. Oh, very modern. Examine the side. Yum, creamed asparagus tips. Oh, creamed asparagus tips. Two for 49 cents. Tips as in the tips of them or tips as in. Or oh, don't eat yellow snow. I don't know what that means. Uh, yeah, I'm assuming it's asparagus tips. Harvest bake sale this Friday. How does she not know there's a bake sale? In the when? Right. Oh, was that a missing poster? Oh, like no. Hey, a tired air conditioner wheezes in the unseasonal heat. Well, that's got to fix that. Right. Tape and broken glass, obviously professional break. He's too busy working to notice you. He's not doing a very good job because he's <laughs> been moving that sweeper and he's moved literally nothing. Can we go inside? This is the sinking one in a minute. Well, she looks to be watching also cowboy mm -hmm. stuff. It could yeah. be her lipstick on the. Uh, All the cup that was outside the post office. Three copies made here. Do you think what I'm thinking? I, I hope so. What are you thinking? Oh god, I'm thinking if it's three copies, just write it with a pen that we found in the bedroom. Take it back to the um, harvest. That's almost what I'm thinking. Okay. I'm thinking we steal the master copy, we make a copy of it, we put the master copy back, and then we go, just, although how, oh no, no that still will work, because we, we don't have to show the postmaster, do we? We can just... Mm. I feel like if we do, we'll anger the game even more. We've already died once, so... Yeah, that's true. Right. So we know there's a copy here. An empty meat box. How do you know it's a meat box? It's empty. It's just a box. Just still. Mm. An old 16mm projector with Gein Memorial stenciled on it. You know that the creators of the game were definitely like, yeah, Gein Memorial, yeah. yeah. No, no one will know what that is, like, <laughs> yeah. that's cool. The empty barrel reeks of rotting meat. Dead roaches and bits of arid grit coat the water cooler's bone dry reservoir. What a lovely place you have here. Shoddy old TV missing the WHF knob. This shop contains a variety of odd items for sale. Can please tell us, please? Oh, I can oh. operate this. Oh, here we go. We've got a wrench. You must pay Mrs. Phelps before you can buy anything. Coffee cans. A cow is bleeding, a robust coffee. <laughs> On these Harvest Blend coffee can lanes. An adult magazine for 25 cents. Oh, must... JJ, you want that? Right, I can... I've got 25 cents. So, now, I don't know about you. Our generation yep. didn't tend to buy dirty magazines. Maybe like Nuts or Zuki or High School, so oh, yeah, bring definitely. one in. I don't think I'd ever buy a magazine with a pair of red arse cheeks on the front of it. Oh, I thought it was ham with the eggs in the middle. Remember them as a kid? I do. <laughs> but it's an adult magazine, so I'm assuming it's a pair of red arse cheeks. Soup can. That is not any soup I ever want to eat. It's got a skull and crossbones on it. Should we buy the magazine and bribe JJ? Couldn't get your shoes, mate, but you're a growing lad. Yeah. You'll appreciate spanked ass monthly or whatever it's called. Give us four years. Yeah. Obviously go for puberty and things. Electrical tape. Oh. You see what? Can't I sniff. think we have to buy that because we've got 25 cents. Everything else, it didn't sell the price was. So. Buy it. I hope you can see it. Just for can I help you, dear? Who are you? This is Phelps General <laughs> oh. Store. So who would that make me? Maybe you need to go back to Gein Memorial and have Miss Whaley teach you about logic. I'm fuzzy on a lot of things these days. My memory's gone. Shaw, you always were a kidder, Steve. I'm serious. I need some help. Well, they say a sharp blow to the head is a good thing for amnesia. In which case, I'd recommend Miss Whaley again. Then again, they say a good scare can jog the memory. In I'm which scared. case... I'd advise you to visit the sergeant at arms over at the lodge. That man gives me the willies. Speaking of willies, how's your father? You dirty no, woman! No. My so-called mother keeps him locked in his room. And I can't get in. Care to buy anything today? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, yes. yes, we're gonna buy Just the... point to whatever you want. <laughs> I'm a little hard of hearing. <laughs> like a, yeah, that's fine. a shitty English tourist in Spain just... <laughs> Not over the tits. Give me the pawn mag. Right. Hello, Steve. Care to buy? 
All right, so I have to Just click on the shelf whatever. again and then right. You must pay, Mr. Stop. Right, so if I... Ooh, this will be the first time I've used the inventory. So... Hi. These corals. The only thing with the coral I use on a magazine. A girly magazine? Why, Steve, I'm surprised at you. I'd expect that sort of thing from Deputy Loomis, but never from you. He's always coming in here oogling the girly magazines behind my counter. Darned if I'd sell him one, though. I know his wife, for heaven's sakes. <laughs> so we know well, who we've got to give out to. Yeah. I certainly will, Steve. That kind of interest is healthy for a young fellow. Stares him away from being a fireman. Uh, I'm s what? A, a, the fireman gay? Is that is it like a euphemism? Because I don't know, they fl hot, a flaming. Hot, is hot it man, a flame, flaming. Yeah. Could be a 1950s thing. Yeah. This game did come out in, I think, 1996. 95, wasn't it? 95 or 96. It's probably not the most politically correct, and it also is Pride Month. So we've probably picked the wrong time to do this, but... Ah, uh, it's probably just a weird character trait. Did I pick the magazine up? Did I...? No, you didn't. Oh, no, I yes, didn't. You... Oh, can I go up here? Can I click on it? And... Uh, just Wait. for educational purposes, yeah, let's have a look. On health indicator? No. Oh. I don't think I can examine it. So, did you say that the detective or the officer? The dirty bastard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Police station then we need. Yeah. Or should we go straight there or should we just kind of like... Let's look around. Let's get we'll go around the buildings because yeah. we might meet other people. Past Riley's Barber Shop, right. So, will he still be alive because there was a bullet hole in his uh, upstairs window? Mm -hmm. Oh. What is that sheep? It's I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the. Um, they've got an alien head on a plaque, top left. Oh wow! Yeah, right up here. Why is it not? This is this is amazing, Alex. An unfortunate extraterrestrial who journeyed hundreds of light years to wind up mounted on a barber's wall. Coat rack. Oh, I've left the building. Hello, me again. Sorry about that. Um, right, Mr. Pastorelli, there's Mr. Swell, and there's Mr. Parsons. Uh, right, let's, the cow head. It takes a true sportsman to hunt down these dangerous cows. I think Steve's quite sarcastic, isn't he? Yeah. Which I quite like, but it seems massively inappropriate considering that we don't know where we are or what we're doing here. The sheep's got red eyes, or is that the looming red eyes in there? So you think it was a sheep at the lodge? Yeah. The, Mr. Pastorelli doesn't respond, not understanding English. Actually, hello. Lots of Mr. Swell. Oh, I'll talk. just turn around, there's a bloke who just walked into your shop. He's a bit rude, isn't he? Is, he a, is that guy a baby? Howdy, Steve. Oh, no. Nope. Yeah. He's a little person. Howdy back, Mr. Pete Swell, Steve. Don't you pull my old leg now. Change your mind about that aluminum siding. What are you talking about? I really think you should talk your father into buying some. He can afford it. And I can't stress enough the value of some really fine aluminum siding. Keeps it warm in the summer, cool in the winter, and it keeps out the sheep. Pastorelli ought to look into some, but I can't get him to understand a word I say. For a barber shop, there's no hair on the floor. And he's These two, are, are they playing checkers or chess? And he's sweeping up. Which, and he looks like he's swept too hard and started to lift the floor tiles. <laughs> yeah. um, and he's practically bald, the, yeah. the gentleman. Um, what should we ask him? The sheep? Can't understand why Pastorelli keeps that nasty thing in here. Must remind him of the pastures in Italy. Kind of like why I keep wrenches under my pillow. So as I can dream about plumbing. Okay. No. <laughs> Pastor Relly's a rube from way back. Ask Clem Parsons how he followed up with the alarm system in here. I'm a plumber. I could fix it for him, but he just won't listen. Bye. Well, 
I seen the end coming for the aluminum siding game, so I took a mail course and learned how to be a plumber. Now, there's a business that never lets up. You'd be surprised what people flush down the toilet. Okay. Nice to see you again, Steve. So that conversation was just oh, pointless, right? Still to Mr. Parsons. Hello there, youngster. You say them aliens I was telling you about? Well, they came back last night. Cut another crop circle in my south field. How come I never seen none of them saucers clam? Them aliens is wily, Pete. You don't cross <laughs> the intergalactic void without learning a trick or two. You know what Pastorelli did? Yesterday, he gets an alarm system to protect his pole. <laughs> Only he don't know how to rig it, so now it's all awry. Let's talk about his pole. Why, that barber's pole of his is his pride and joy. Brought it all the way over from Italy, wrapped all special-like. It ain't nothing but colored glass with some bulbs just stuck up in it. But he thinks it's the be-all end-all. Install that alarm system just to protect it. Though who in tarnation would want to steal a worthless piece of junk like that? I, I don't know. Maybe them aliens, we want, I want to steal it. Oh, Pete, don't be ignorant. I don't know what we need it for. Aliens, but I want to steal it. Well. <laughs> for no the infantry. colored glass. You think if they can build spaceships, they can't make a bad gum barber pole? Crazy heck, don't know nothing about science. Pastorelli shelled out for an alarm system, all right, but he's too cheap to hire an electrician to hook her up. Dang idiot cross-wired it through the fire sprinkler, so now when the alarm goes off, it sets the sprinkler spray. Tarnation! Aliens looking for intelligent life ought to stay away from this shop, sure enough. Right, so obviously, we're gonna need to steal that at some point. Yeah, of course. And when we do, we're gonna need to set a fire alarm off to deactivate the alarm so we can steal it. And if you notice, by, um, by Pastorelli, these candles... Are they candles or are they light switches? Oh, no, 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 um... Oh, oh, yeah, that was like, um... What, what are the Jewish candles called? Is it a, men a menorah? Is it a menorah? Cabra. Um, candle, carb candle like car Candelabra. Carbonara. Carbonara. Uh, oh. Well, son, the Some ways spaghetti. of the alien is a specialised area woodcraft unknown to all but the wiliest sportsmen. What you gotta remember is, your average alien is smarter than your average human. So you gotta be extra careful building your blind if you wanna bag one. You hunt aliens. Son, after nailing an alien, you can never <laughs> hold back to quail. What, you think you can get one of those at a swap me? <laughs> what expression does that alien have on his Lying face? Lying your blind with lead to fool their sensing machines. Lay real quiet and wait. Preferably in the woods around the nuclear base. Oh, they love messing around out there. Why not wait outside your field, Clem? Wait for them to come a carving. Oh, they do their crop doodles with zap guns, you darn fool. Don't you know nothing? Besides, ain't no place to put the blind out in the field. Now, you listen to Clem Parsons if you want to tag an unearthly being. They cross the void. Wondering what lies beyond, all the time not knowing that what awaits them is buckshot. Okay, let's ask him about Pastorelli. The Pastorelli's a funny sort, foreigner, don't you know? He cuts hair pretty good, but he don't know spit about nothing else. You just ask him to hook up an alarm system if you need convincing. Keeps mentioning that alarm system, mm. so. Anytime. Right. So. Right. Let's get out of the barber shop. Can you, oh, right. I was going to say click on the TV, see what happens. So we obviously know that we've got to steal that barber pole, and to do so, we need to start a fire. Um. In the fire station, then. Yeah. Um. Or. Um. By the house, didn't they say something about the electrical cables going over it? Not safe. True, but you can see on the map there, they just. They go towards the lodge. Um, and they seem to go nowhere near none of the other houses. Let's try the missile base. What, what happened is to he, him? Is he sat down? Is he stuck in a manhole? Oh, who goes there? Uh, they tell me my name is Steve. Alright, oh, this is section 21. 
Keep your distance, son. I wouldn't want to have to blow your head off. That makes two of us. So you're the amnesiac, huh? Just another draft dodging ploy the way I see it. But at least you're not an alien. You see their ships every now and then. Sometimes swell bags one in the woods. Who are you? Colonel Buster Monroe, commander of the Harvest Nuclear Missile Installation. Keeping America safe from those who would dye a flag red, white, and pink. These are nuclear missiles? Goddamn right they are. Every one of them ready to rain death on the Ruskies. All I gotta do is hit the button and blammo! The price of vodka goes through the roof. Along with the vodka. Well, I suppose you have, you know, safeguards against accidents? Safeguards? Don't be such a weak sister. There are no safeguards. This is the 50s. Then you have sole control of the, uh, missiles. That's right. Been in charge here since WW2, when I got my lower torso shot off in the war. He's not stuck in a manhole. Those panty wastes in Washington wanted to stick me behind a desk. To hell with that. They owed me. I left my legs in Dusseldorf. They owed me. Of course, they felt that after the trauma of having to crawl from Germany to England trailing my intestines behind me, I was too emotionally unstable to continue in the military. That's why they gave me this nice cushy job and put me in charge of the nuclear missiles. And... Um. Well, <laughs> he seems... Uh... Bit uptight. Yeah, a Just little bit break. unstable as well. Um, mm. I think... Remember, oh, duck so and cover. I will save it because he's in charge of the missiles. Don't piss him off. Bit of an understatement, that really. Yeah. Right. Who goes there? Same guy. It's just me. Just Steve. To, not what do you want? Did the llamas send you? Uh, yeah, sure. I knew it. They won't leave me alone. Them and the kookaburros. Nine. Nine. Well, um, I'm very thankful I saved it. So. <laughs> um, Alex. Yes. What, 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 what? So he was scared of the llamas coming after him, so I mean, he murdered us, uh, and um, then caused nuclear war. Yeah. I thought that, thank you, thank you, I thought that's what happened. Yeah. Um, um, let's, yeah, well, or scary. Oh, oh, we pissed him off. Well, you pissed him off. Uh, I, we mutually agreed on the llamas. Um, we'll talk no to him again. No llamas this time. No llamas. Who goes there? It's just me. It's me what do you want? The llamas did not stem me. No. No, just good old fashioned. It's good. easy now, sir. Someone has to keep them in check. Yes, they do. I'm glad you stopped by again. I want you to infiltrate those firemen, mister. There's a lot of art going on over there. I want to make sure they haven't turned into commie bastards. You got that? And don't come back unless you've got information for me. Right. So let's get the. Remember, oh. duck and cover. You said that twice now, pal. So and well, duck from, and cover from you. Yeah, from a man who doesn't need to duck. He's got a bomb button on his torso. Yeah. What does he sleep? It's a very trusting town. Um, right. So I think. Um, so I think we'll, we'll do right another then. say ten minutes or so. Um, what a fantastic, bizarre experience. Thank you. It, this is just the start 
Okay. We're not even in the cult yet. Oh. And we got shot by a child. Yeah. We got murdered by an army veteran. A baby yet a spider. A baby yet a spider. And the mum slapped it. Yep. You bought a, an owl magazine. Yeah, we bought a porn mag. Like which a girly magazine. Apparently, we're supposed to give to the firemen because everyone in town hates the firemen. Oh, there was a, a mounted alien head on a black. Yeah. And hmm. a little person and a redneck told us about a security system. For some reason, I don't know why we need the bow pole, but in these sorts of games, when someone says, Who'd want to steal that? The answer's. Me, yeah. I want to steal that. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. I've only got a pen and a porn mag. I've used my my quarter. Oh. So, um, so we'll cookie. go for another ten minutes or so. Um, let's uh, have a look at the meat plant. Yeah, because there seems to be a lot of rotten meat. Oh, that's where they right. get it from. harvest meat. Is are they cows? Are they? Oh yes, they are a lot. Of... No, that they the cats. Bloody tire track. Is he saying bloody tire tracks or bloody tire oh, tracks? Bloody hell! Yeah. Oh, bloody. Right. Let's uh, let's go in because there doesn't seem to be. Oh, I can hear a marching band. <gasps> oh, it's cats. Okay, right um, now. Now you're not the biggest fan of cats. I'm not the biggest fan of cats. I've got to say, um, I am a big fan of cats. How do you feel? Um, well, obviously it's not real. Um, mm. but they've. Uh, <laughs> it kind of sets the tone for what this game is. This used to be a kitty cat. Uh, huh, yeah, there we go. Yeah. Um, okay. Steve. How's your father? He's is he better? Scar. He's got uh, a scar on his cheek. I'm about the same, I guess. He's been away from or work for weeks. Swiping. And when I call your house, your mother won't let me talk to him. I haven't seen him either. This is a fine kettle of fish, I must say. Though I am glad to see you taking an interest in the business in your dad's absence. Who are you? Aw, oh, Steve, I didn't want to believe that He's amnesia hokum. Now you're saying you don't remember your pal Pat O'Reilly? Um, um, we've got to ask. What's with all the cats? This a slaughterhouse or a kennel? Oh, them? They eat the scraps, that's all. Yeah, but look at them. Isn't there some kind of health department that keeps tabs on these things? Are you going to work at the health department, Steve? Or here? Maybe I get sick of do-gooder busybody sucking around here all the time. A man's up to his elbows and guts all day, every day. What more do they want from him? Okay. Was that an eye pull? Um, just, your business. Yeah, just before we ask him, hmm. this cat. Oh no, it is moving. I thought it was frozen in time. Right. Either that or dead. You may come to realize that this business is not for everybody. Just ask your poor, ill dad. It takes dedication and a strong stomach. Why do you keep showing us that? We've. <laughs> A lot of times, when I'm finished scrubbing up and digging the bits of intestine out from my fingernails, I must confess I don't have much appetite for red meat. But red meat is one of the principal food groups, and you've got to have it. So when you can do this all day and help yourself to a juicy red steak afterwards, then by golly, you can call yourself a butcher. Of course, amnesia would certainly help that, wouldn't it? I'm a bit nervous of this guy. <laughs> Just a bit. Um, red meat is not very good for you. Um, Wouldn't tell him that though. No. Look, I'm not kidding about the amnesia. Why won't anyone believe me? Well, you always were such a kidder, Steve. Funny how that's beginning to sound like a stock answer. Like it was coached. Oh, he's he's sure are acting like a kidder, that. son. With your dad ill, you're gonna need to start behaving like an adult. Especially if you're gonna take over the family business. Family business? What exactly is wrong with your dad? I don't know. I can't get in to see him. Right. Don't be such a stranger, Steve. And my best to your dad. Can you click on a cow? Uh, carcasses. The carcasses of several small animals. Small, they're that. I don't think they're cows. Bloody <laughs> huge! Um, uh, what are these little cut up a bone? Has that black cat moved towards the door to block you in, by the way? Uh, oh! Nice, no, he's moving his tail though. Right, let's get the hell out of here before we end up on the, uh, yes. the wall of carcass. 
So that didn't really help us much. So Steve's dad worked at the butchers. And he's going to take over the family business. Yeah. But obviously, dad's very ill. Mm. Well, allegedly, he's been locked in the room. Um, let's try the school. Mm. Um, it's probably a school for goats did, or something. Did you notice somewhere. the um, Harvest logo on the school door? I know, but Boris Johnson's here to greet us, so... Uh, Hello, welcome to Principal Herald. Steve, good of you to drop by, big guy. Haven't seen you since graduation. A lot of changes, I hear. You could say that. Good, good. Graduated. That's Why a nice part that? of my job. Mm -hmm. Turning fine young men and women out into the world and then watching them prosper. Of course, I was able to reach more people at the old Sentinel, God bless her. But then again, I never got to see the results of my work up close before. Who are you? You know very well I'm Mr. Harold, the principal of Gain Memorial. Steve, I've heard about this amnesia nonsense. I had hopes you'd be in the lodge by now, fine young fella like yourself. But now, I think maybe you need a little more quality time. Why would you say it like that? Um, Sentinel big Amnesia Lodge Game Memorial. Oh, big guy, because maybe that, why, is, why, why do you guy? keep calling me big guy? A sign of respect, lad. As principal, my station is higher than yours now, but you never know what the future holds. So you should always hedge your bets and pay tribute to your inferiors. You never know who will come to power or who even now wields it behind the scenes. For all I know, you might already be a member of the order with access to the lodge. No, we tried that. If that were the case, you'd be my superior and I'd be all that much better off having shown you respect and spent some quality time with you. Right, this guy's creepy. Can you hear that in the background as well? It's singing like a nursery rhyme, but I can't make up what they're saying. It sounds like um, the... Uh, from Nightmare on Elm Street, the one, two, Freddy's coming for you. Um, oh, God. That's about the lodge. Can you Big get... guy, borrowing some quality time. The greatest gift I can bestow upon you as your former principal is a word of advice. Join the order of the Harvest Moon at any cost. Within the lodge lies your future, and without dust. We are trying to join the lodge, <laughs> but bloody postmaster only does yeah. applications once a month. Surely mine is the most important position in Harvest. The ability to mold young minds. That's power. You might think Sheriff Dwayne's the most important man here, big guy. But he only deals with my failures. When I do my job right, the Sheriff never sees a thing. Oh, that's not a big guy. Um... Drop in again soon. Adult education is a wonderful thing. As is adult quality time. Right, what are you trying to get out of Paul? He's uh, a brick, this guy, isn't he? Can we actually go in any of these rooms? Oh, what's that there? Right, let's have go into one of the rooms. Oh. Oh, there's an actual class going on. Right, let's have a look. Even the paper cutouts look stunned and zombified. Right. Everything's going to exit. Why is, why is what that? are they studying? Could that be... Oh, it looks like a bird's eye view of the... Uh, My goodness, class, this is Stephen. He used to be a student here at Gein Memorial. Say hello, class. They're reticent. The educator's greatest problem today is the apathy of the students. What's wrong with their heads? I can tell you in one word, Stephen. Discipline. Thank goodness you weren't a sulky bear. You were always a smiley bear. Then you remember me? Not as such. So many pupils, Stephen. They come and they go. But I can always spot those who were nice boys. You can tell from the forehead. The lobes. Right, class? I'm glad you stopped by, Stephen. Would you care to say a few words to the class about civic responsibility? Not really. I was just passing through. Oh, but you must, Stephen. A positive role model might be just the thing to inspire these little monsters. Stephen, have you any questions for me? Or shall I continue with class? Yes, I have Ask questions. Ask away then. 
Can you get me into the lodge? This lodge? What do you know about it? The building itself, like Harvest, was constructed with a specific purpose in mind. That noble intent is known only to those within the Order. You're at about the right age to join them, Stephen. And you will do so if you care about your future. Um, Harvest. Harvest, Can yeah. you tell me anything about Harvest? Harvest was founded by the Order of the Harvest Moon about a hundred years ago. For what purpose? Why, I'm sure you'd have to ask them. You'll find the members of the Order at the Lodge. Can't get into the Lodge because the Postmaster's in there. a crap teacher, love it. Yeah. Now. We don't practice corporal punishment here. I've never believed in that old adage, spare the rod and spoil the child. A rod is too thin. But a baseball bat... You filthy... That bridges the generation gap quite nicely. Oh dear, Colonel Moreau is conducting another air raid drill. Everyone into the hallway, quick! If an A-bomb hits, what good is it gonna do to duck and cover? Stars, that was exciting. Bye. Tara. No more questions. Stop by any time, Steve. <laughs> no, no. Can you get crazy. the hell out of Dodge? You're right. crazy. Um, Principal, you need to have a word with some of your staff because obviously, whilst you were there, yeah, did, did you just see drinking, that? Oh. Obviously, there's, there's an air raid drill, so rather than duck and cover, you've decided that you're going to have a lot of water, which. Is an admirable trait, but she just murdered a child. Um, In your school. So I think I think I'm, I'm going to save it. Um, I need ther uh, therapy if I'm honest. Yeah, I, I think we'll we'll leave wow. it there for today. Um, um, so let's. Uh, are you sure this is a game, Alex? Because that was quite a strange. Um, experience now, looking back. I'm glad I went to school in the 90s. Um, <laughs> oh, Jesus. So, um, let's... Uh, we'll leave it there for today. Um, so that was the first uh, hour and a bit of Harvester. Thoughts? Like scrambled eggs. How so? Um, A child's face? No, 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 um... I thought, going into it, you know, I heard you talk about it's going to be a bit of a controversial game. And I thought, okay, let's see how bad it could be. First five minutes, I thought, ah, okay, it's just going in for shock factor now. Going through, I thought, I like the style, I like the music, I like going to different places and looking for different things. Because I've never played anything like this before. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then it sort of got, like, morbidly twisted. So, I love it. Yeah. But I'm more concerned about what is around the corner. This, this is. I'm not sure how long the game is. Um, I don't. We're obviously not that far in because we haven't really done much. We've gone around the town. Mm -hmm. We've spoken to people. Um, we've we've met people. Um, uh, a few interesting characters, I would say, though. Al. Um, to put it lightly. Yeah. Very interesting characters. Um, so we will be play, we'll be carrying on. Definitely, I, I, we need to know how this ends, how it progresses, as well as how it ends. I need, I need to know. I can't sleep. Yeah. Um, what are your so, thoughts? Um, it's very difficult to put my thoughts into words right now. Um, so I can totally see. So before um, we started recording, um, myself and Alan were chatting. I am. Um, I said that I have a soft spot for these types of games because yeah. the, the art style and obviously the, the animation's a little bit kind of not cheap, very dated, hasn't aged very well. Um, There's like a certain charm to there it. There is well. a certain charm mm. to it. So again, as yourself, I'm very intrigued to find out how the hell this game progresses. We've been, we're an hour and a bit in, we've been shot by a child, we've caused a nuclear war, 
we've watched a child get his head bashed in with yeah. a baseball bat baby by a slapped. teacher. Yeah, baby got slapped. Talk to a monk. Yeah, with a, with a ridiculous, a telepathic I mean, monk with a deep voice. Tip of the iceberg, though. Yeah. You know? um, so we'll we'll leave it there. Yeah. And uh, we'll we'll revisit this soon. So thanks for thank watching. you, folks. And until next time. Until next time. Goodbye. Wow. <laughs>